to today's video. So it should be Friday now when I'm posting this video. I'm hoping that I can start posting more on my YouTube channel. So I should have posted two videos this week, Monday and Wednesday. I'm hoping to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Fridays are gonna be my Sims video posting days. So I'm gonna start a new series. Yes, I have done one before that failed. I stopped posting on it. I just felt like I wanted to put more in the episodes, just otherwise it would drag out too long. So there's gonna be one every single week. I enjoy playing Sims and that's why I am basically um, doing this. I don't know, I just really want to do a Sims series because I know a lot of people still like playing Sims even, you know, into adulthood. It's not just children that play Sims. In fact, the majority of people that play it are adults. So I am gonna do a Sims series. I have created my character. I will show you in a second. I'm just about to screen record. And yeah, I'm kind of hoping that it does continue screen recording because it's a bit dodgy. But yeah, I've got a cup of tea. Don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I have, shh, I have um, created a Sims character. I will show you her. She is called Rachel Atkins, and this is her here with like the gingery hair. I've made the character to have a personality where she's basically creative, she likes cooking, she likes cleaning, she likes going to the gym. That's the kind of personality that I've had her have. Yeah, I was having a few technical difficulties, but we're back on now. So she's got 168,000 pounds. We're gonna go to Manage Worlds. Hang on, how can we not go to, oh, we can't go to Manage Worlds because the welcome wagon is happening. Technically, we don't need a welcome wagon because we're moving anyway, we're moving. So in this episode, I'm hoping to start building her house and we're gonna do this in Willow Creek. So we can basically have any house because we can just evict people that are currently in the houses. Um, oh, I like the look of this one. Brook Bungalow, 91,000 pounds. We have enough money for that. So let's move her out of here and move her into here. We will keep all of the furniture that she's got, which is nothing. Um, and we'll go into the house and we'll keep it furnished and we will just kind of like change a few things and renovate. So let's go. So she is a young adult and this is her first house, which is quite large for a first house, but that is what we're dealing with right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go and renovate this house for her, but we're first of all gonna have a look and see what the house looks like beforehand. So this is the before. The rooms are very dark, like very dark, but I guess this is kind of like the vibe of the place. Um, it's quite dated, really. I quite like this room. I like how that looks. Some of the things I might actually keep, how they are. Right, again, this room, very dated. We're gonna, we're gonna go up some of these rooms. This looks like a child's room. That must be like the child's room. Um, again, so dark. God, it's so depressing. And then I don't think there is another upstairs, is there? I find laptops difficult to do. Let's have a look at the garden, shall we? They've got a barbecue area and a play area. She doesn't have any children, so there's no need for her to have a play area. But anyway, I'm gonna start renovating the outside of the property um, in this episode. So, she's watching some TV. So now you've seen the before, we can then compare it to the after when we've finished. Right, because the trees in the surrounding areas are kind of pink, I wanna kind of keep that theme in with this house because I really love these pink trees. So I'm just gonna pop another one of those here and maybe pop another one of these, but I'm gonna shrink it. I'm gonna make it smaller. Might even shrink it a bit more. Oh, look how cute. So yeah, I might just pop one of those here. Ooh, or when you shrink things, it makes them like lag a little bit. But that was quite a large tree. So, I'm not gonna change the garden too much because this is her first house. If she was moving into somewhere, she wouldn't change it too much herself. So I am gonna get rid of this tree. And 
I'll get rid of this tree and in future episodes I might put a swimming pool here. I find it quite strange how the garden is like sectioned off here when technically her garden is also up here as well but I guess that gives us a chance to kind of do something with that. She can grow plants out this side. I think it looks quite weird having the plants growing where you'd have a barbecue. I wanna put one of these mini palm trees. I say mini, I'll make it mini. Here. That looks cute. We need more picnic benches. Try and keep the like things matching as much as possible. Get a little table. Have a little bench. Don't think this bench matches, but not everything needs to match. Maybe I'll put the bench against here and the chairs over here. Because when I'm playing Sims, I'm the kind of person that I like to do them like barbecues and stuff when they have like birthday parties and things. And I swear in Sims, it's always someone's birthday. Right, I guess we can add to this as time goes on. Um, but at the minute it's very basic, but in a future episode, I'm gonna put a pool here when, you know, when she gets more money, even though we've got unlimited money anyway. So the actual outside of the house, I kind of like how it looks. I think we need some outside lights. So I'll just put a couple here. Don't like these chairs might put one bench out the front or a couple of benches like here and one the other side like that and then i might just put a few little plants we won't go too heavy on the decor i just want everything to match I like things to be symmetrical as well. Why won't that go there? Why won't that go there? Because that's there. Ah, oh, who needs a fire alarm anyway? If you know The Sims, you know that you definitely need a fire alarm. So I am going to pop a few flowers around the windows. Yeah, I'll get one of these and I'll pop some pink flowers up here and here. Oh great, my laptop's gonna sleep soon. Don't know whether to put any on the side because like, no one really sees the side. I'll just do the front and back upstairs. Colour wise, I might alter the colour a little bit of the house and the walls. I do like panelling. I like the um, I like the um, actual panels, but I want to change the colour. But it won't. There isn't a change of colour. What are these? Oh, I kind of like that. Or does this make it look really old? Does anybody else like that? Green. I don't know why I think green will work because it's quite a random colour. No, that is a really stupid idea. Pink? I don't know why I'm coming up with weird ideas. I think that looks okay. Ugh. Zoomed in a little bit. I think I just wanted to decorate it like different to how it was done. Because I do quite like how it was, but I guess we can change it back if we really wanted to. Alright, the colour of the roof. I feel like I want to change the colour of the roof. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's too dark. It 
too light, I mean. Maybe this brown. They don't have a chimney. I'm gonna add in a chimney. Now I don't actually 100% know where the fireplace will be to actually like logically place this, but I'm gonna pop it there. So, so far, I've decorated the outside. We've just added a few plants here and there, kind of just tidied it up a little bit like you sort of would if you was to buy a new house. I think realistically what should happen is that these fences shouldn't be here, but I guess you could say this is like the barbecue area. And there is a gate here as well. Um, so you can always come out the back here and go into the swimming pool that we will create at some point. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna move on to doing the downstairs. I'm going to speed build, um, doing a couple of rooms in the downstairs just to make it easier um, for me to edit this video. So I will um, talk over like what I do in the speed build. So the first room that I decided to do was the living room and I just quickly added in a few lights around the downstairs just because I felt like it was too dark and I like to see fully what I'm actually doing. I wanted to brighten up the living room, make it look more fun and just have more colour into it because I don't know, I'm just kind of bored of just plain simple colours. So I did want to keep this TV stand, I don't know why, I just really liked this but again like I said I just wanted to, I don't know, lighten everything up a little bit, not make it as dark and add some kind of pinks into the room, that kind of thing and some flowers, I always love adding plants into my builds or into the rooms of the sims houses because i don't know they just add life to the room i like plants in general and oh my god this wallpaper i love this wallpaper i don't know what it is about it i just love it not the plain wallpaper i mean the patterned ones i'm very much into pattern at the minute i should probably get the pattern pack thing whatever it's called um that's recently come out i can't remember but yeah i really 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 love that wallpaper and the color and the design i make the curtains like a bluey kind of color i feel like that kind of matches the wallpaper in a way i just wanted to tie everything together somehow i don't know this is my personal taste so it might not be something that you like i tried to add a painting on the wall but because the wallpaper so patterned i couldn't really find anything so i just shoved that random painting on the wall I changed the colour of the sofas and the chairs to a pinky shade and I really like how they look. I did actually keep the living room layout pretty much exactly the same as it was. I just changed the colours of things, added a few more things and just kind of brightened everything up and made it a little nicer and a little more girly. It is, you know, a woman's house. It is a woman living by herself. Obviously men can like pink as well, but I don't know. This is just the kind of room that I like because at the minute I'm really loving pink. And yeah, I just kind of have a little play around, see how things fit and how it goes. I know this is very sped up, but this is because it takes me ages to do this and I need to speed it up, otherwise we'd be here all day. Now, I thought this was a piano, but it's actually a desk. So yep, yeah, there we go. But this is a great space for her to have a computer and to go on social media or to just find a job or whatever. Like there's so much Sims to do on the computer. So I added that in and a little plant. And yeah, I was very happy with how the room turned out. And yeah, I did add a little rug as well underneath there because I just love rugs. I just love rugs. So I've just done a speed build of the living room and I actually really like how it looks. Obviously you will have seen it. I will do a bird's eye view showing how it looks if I can remember how to do that yet. So this is what it looks like as a bird's eye view. Now it's quite a spacious living room. So it's quite like a big place to have if you're young, but I guess she could have saved the money. Um, I thought that this thing in the corner was a piano, but it's actually a desk. So yeah, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like from the top. There's quite a lot of space in this room and I wanted to keep it quite simple, but also I really liked how the wallpaper was not simple. So the wallpaper is kind of like pink themed with leaves on it. I like in Sims now, I actually really like more busy wallpaper. I think that it makes the rooms look more cozy and more full. Like I've actually gone away from simplistic you know houses where all the walls are just white like basically where i live right now um but yeah i just really like that and i know there's an expansion pack called 
I can't remember what it's called actually, but it's where, is it maximalist? Where all, there's just loads of like decorations where everything is really like in your face, busy patterns, loads of um, patterned wallpapers and just patterns everywhere. I really want to get that expansion pack. So I might get that actually, because this is what this reminds me of and I do really like it. So I kept the um, drawers here because I just really like how this looked and how the TV sits and everything. And obviously like with this, I did keep quite a lot of things the same and just kind of change the colors of things. And I really love this plant. This is one of my favorite plants. I don't know why. I just like how it looks. Um, I like this corner over here is like the bookshelf so they can like grab a book and sit down and read. And then the actual like living space where you kind of like have your sim sit down and watch the TV. I really like how that's like in the center of the room. When I'm doing things like this, I tend to put the TV in the corner of the room and then the sofa's face in the corner of the room. But I like how this is kind of facing the center of the room and it's like the main part of the room. Then I also tried to put a picture on the wall, but I felt like I couldn't really put anything on because the wallpaper is so busy anyway that you didn't really need it. But then I also felt like I wanted something. So I just popped this here. Um, I kept the curtains, but changed the color. Then over here is the desk space. So in this house, there isn't going to be an office because her desk space is going to be over here in the living room. No point in having like, you know, adding anything else to the living room. I might as well just have it part be an office and part be the living room and just, you know, maximize the space. And then any other rooms in the house can be bedrooms or they can be gyms or something like that. So that's gonna be like her working space. And I kept with the theme of like a pink theme. I kind of went with like a pinky blue theme in this room. So yeah, I really like this living room. I would like to live in this room myself. Like I would happily live in there. And I think my favorite thing about this room is probably the wallpaper I really like. So I won't do this with every room. They won't always be like this, but this is the first room complete and I'm really happy with it. I think compared to the beginning, there is a, a big transformation. So I'm gonna go into live mode and I'm gonna start playing. I'm not gonna decorate the whole thing um, in one go. I'm just gonna play with the character a little bit and then decorate, play, decorate. So let's see what she's doing. So it's one, uh, 10 minutes past one. Let's bring her into the living room see if she actually likes it. Okay, she's leaving it straight away. What is, read an ebook. You're gonna watch TV and she's gonna watch the cooking channel because she likes cooking. Come on. That looks pretty cozy in there. And you get books, or she can get, she can read off the shelf. And she might read. Let's see if she's got a job. She's an assistant to the manager. Sorry, my thing just came up. Oh, there's a welcome wagon happening now again. This is the second welcome wagon. Someone must be at the front door. Let's welcome them in. We need to make new friends. Oh, someone's bought cake. Excellent. Oh, she's still reading. I would invite them into the kitchen area, but I actually don't think that's looking too great. He's left it on the dining room table. Where, what is that? I can't see. Is that fruit cake? I'm gonna go into build mode. I'm gonna pick up the fruit cake and I'm gonna put it in here on the table. Is that cheating? I don't think it is. And I'm gonna call to meal and then everyone can come and take a piece of cake. Someone's at the front door. Jesus, I did invite everybody in. Oh, they're all going through to the dining room. Does that mean the living room is not great? We 
need to get to know these people. We're going to thank them for coming. Who's this guy? Bob Pancakes. Friendly introduction. He's the one that brought the cake anyway. I'm just looking at that kitchen now and I'm just thinking that needs decorating. So we'll decorate that in the next episode. I'm going to actually do a kitchen diner. So I'm going to knock this wall down here friendly introduction it says she's hungry but she didn't eat any of the fruit cake where is the fruit cake have some fruit cake she's feeling uncomfortable does she not like fruit cake Oh, she doesn't like fruitcake, fair enough. Right, she needs the toilet. I'm gonna find the toilet. I hate it when the toilets are small because you can't really access them um, when the walls are up. Right. We're gonna clean up and tidy. Oh, see, somebody's using the living room. Who puts the TV on for two seconds and then turns it off straight away? Right, the welcome wagon has nearly ended. It's nearly time for everyone to go. So, oh, it's finished now. Everyone's leaving. Is she tired? She's getting tired. She's also hungry. Um, get leftovers. I'm assuming the leftovers is the fruitcake that she doesn't like. go upstairs I'm gonna pick her bedroom actually um, she can have this bedroom over here right I'll give her an early night because does she have work tomorrow she's got work tomorrow at 9 a.m. so she can go to sleep nice and early right that is gonna be the end of this episode so I've played a little bit of the game and I've also built a bit I think it would be better in each episode to do some building and some playing of the game just so that I'm not just you know so that there's like different things in each episode but just to recap we first of all um hang on one second it's getting to night time it's half nine at night um yeah we redecorated the house and kind of added a couple of trees changed a few things obviously we can like add more stuff if we want to um, as it goes along, I am going to add a swimming pool on here in a future episode. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with how the house is looking. Obviously, I was only decorating it. I wasn't actually building the house just because I feel like it's easier for me to do that. Um, and then we also did the living room and I really like how it looks, especially when you compare it to the rest of the house. Obviously, it's not to everyone's taste, but it is personally to my taste, so I really like it. Um, but yeah, and then we did a bit of... Um, like gameplay and the characters got to kind of come around and she had a little welcome to everybody and obviously in future episodes i'm going to continue building i think i'm going to do the kitchen diner next friday and also we're going to get her to go and socialize a little bit more to make some more friends because she's new to the area so yeah that's it rachel's asleep that's the end of this episode and i will be doing episode two next friday and i will stick to this sim series promise do promise um but give me any ideas if you have any ideas of what i should do um for like the storyline so who's she gonna be who's she gonna be with how many children is she gonna have is she gonna adopt is she gonna have any children at all um that kind of thing um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next episode bye bye, -bye.